It hurts. You feel lost, drained. And now you're wondering, how will I move forward? How will I get through this? How will I be able to pick myself back up? It feels like everything is falling apart, feeling numb, hopeless, and the list goes on. Everyone gets a challenge thrown their way and it feels impossible to believe it, but we will be okay. But believe it or not, something amazing will come from this pain. Something great will come from this. So let's just dive deep into how we can use this pain to guide us into our powerful era. Hey butterflies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Stephanie with a Y. Don't forget to subscribe. We recording, we getting back on our consistency. As much as I don't want to record looking like this, I'm here showing up for myself and for y'all. So anyways, without further ado, let's just jump into the video. As you can tell from the title, we are going to talk about how to turn your pain into power. We're talking about that transformational era, okay? So that you can get to your powerful era. Trust me, we've all been through it, so we all need this video. So sit back, get comfy, and let's start. First things first, you're gonna need some pain. I mean, <laughs> will that be hard to find? <laughs> but pain, something that we've all experienced, we all know, been through and talk about it in a positive way which really people ever talk about and we have to remember that as much as it feels like the world is just turning its back on us when these terrible things happen it's not the case i promise you recently i went to a yoga class where i met an amazing woman shout out to linda and we were just talking getting to know each other and she did reveal to me that you know she lost someone and how she's been living in so-and-so area for that amount of time. And it completely reminded me of my situation, you know, how my grandmother was sick and I moved back from California to Massachusetts to just be with family, etc. And it just hits me that we're all working through it. We're all just trying to live life. We're all just trying to be okay. Whether you lost a job or a loved one or you're just in deep depression and you can't get out of it, maybe it's your self-image or confidence that has tamed. Whatever that is, you are not alone. I promise you, you're not the only person in the whole world that this is happening to. You just have to believe that you'll get out of it and you will it may take forever trust me it may feel like it's never ending but you will always get through it honestly isn't it a little comforting to know that you're never alone but i'm here to remind you that it is okay this is molding you and really quick before we move on if you do need to please seek out professional help ain't nothing wrong with taking care of your mental health i am in therapy i love it i know many many people who are joining therapy and love it so please do seek out professional help if needed now let's turn this into power acknowledge recognize what the problem is you have to know the root of the problem to even know what you're dealing with right we unfortunately live in a society where being vulnerable or showing your emotions and being honest makes you soft and weak like but on the contrary, it actually makes you stronger. It actually brings you to the next level. I mean, how else are you supposed to level up, glow up, if you haven't even mastered the level you're at? It's like video games. You can't go on to the next level unless you pass the first one. So, because in all honesty, how do you expect to heal if you are suppressing your emotions how are you supposed to heal if you're holding it all in and if we haven't learned that already holding grudges or anger or whatever it is even towards other people is still gonna affect you the most like literally this next sentence i'm yelling at you even if it doesn't sound like it but i need you to go sit down open up a journal and start there write out anything whatever comes to your mind or cry it out but i'm gonna need you to start somewhere right now because you've been holding on to so much and it's just so unfair. So like I said, pick one or the other, cry it out or write it out. Either way, it's going to help you tremendously. Like, I don't think people actually realize the amount of relief you get from crying. Like, we all feel it. You feel like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders, like lighter, light like a feather. You feel so much better. It's actually been proven that crying not only relieves stress, but it's decreasing the levels of cortisol in the body. I actually had to check personally what high cortisol levels do besides i know that it makes you stressed out but it can also cause acne it can cause fatigue 
and it can cause weight gain granted we all have high levels sometimes but that is because our body's natural response to harm or danger is for it to rise that's why letting it out letting it all go is going to be beneficial for you in the long run learn to express yourself whether you don't know how to or where to start you just have to start something right how will you know you're good at it how will you know you enjoy it or that it works for you if you don't ever try like i said you can do this in many ways this can be voice memos that you do to yourself and delete later same with journaling you don't have to feel scared to write out your deepest darkest secrets no girl crush it up rip it up shred it burn it ashes to ashes and no one will ever know and even then even then it'll make a huge difference for you you'll feel so much lighter like i'm gonna keep saying that but you're going to feel like a feather <sighs> relieved if you do want to try some journaling and you are feeling heartbroken, ask yourself these questions to really understand what's going on. Such as, what aspect of heartbreak is bringing you pain? Is it the feeling of being betrayed? Are you mourning the absence of someone who was once by your side? Or perhaps the future you thought you would have? together and fyi you can google any kind of prompts that you're in the mood for so if you're feeling sad or journal prompts to feel happier journal prompts to relieve stress you can literally google any of this and just take two sitting there for literally five minutes is all you need five minutes just to reflect and really think about yourself what you see for your future what are you mourning what do you have to let go what is hard about it you sit down for just five minutes with these deep questions and truly reflect babes you're going to uncover so much so these will all be ways to acknowledge our pain to acknowledge what we're going through so that we can take the next step remind yourself it is okay it is okay to feel terrible it is okay to feel sad and angry it is okay it's normal i'm human you're not your feelings feel them but you're not your feelings so now let's move on if you did write down any answers from the heartbroken prompts just now take these answers with you so we can do this next part which is the lesson what did we learn each struggle comes with its own lesson it's hand in hand it's not like god literally handpicked you and said yeah i'm gonna ruin your life just because just for funsies <laughs> like no it doesn't happen that way it happens to all of us even if you feel like it's targeted even if you feel like he hates you it's not it's all for a reason it's all for a purpose and the more and more you feel like something is meant to break you that's just how much stronger that blessing will be because honestly if we think about it if it was rainbows and sunshines all day long every day like a fairy tale then how would we change there would be no change we would be the same exact way every single day living on repeat in this perfect world perfect life but we're meant to go through different stages we're meant to break barriers break our own barriers our own boundaries right stop restricting ourselves from doing so much more because you have no idea what you're capable of it's here to break you, to mold you, to change you into that next person. Hence why I call you guys butterflies because it is the perfect metaphor, the perfect symbol of my life and ours for those that are trying to better themselves, better their lives. We are not going to stay in our cocoon. We're not meant to be enclosed in this small space. No, let us free, let our wings show you how beautiful we really are, how beautiful I really am, what I'm capable of. If it take me one month, two years, however long i'm gonna break out of that cocoon and okay when you think about it there's always been a point in your life where you're just like dang i'm so happy that it turned out the way it did or i'm so happy that i made it out of that breakup i'm so happy i got over that job and got a new one a better one and personally speaking i always ask myself well if i want more right if i want a better job or a better this and a nicer this and a banging body then why am i crying about the struggles why am I crying about how depressing and how much it sucks? You asked for more to eat and then you complain when there's more on your plate. Make it make sense. You can't cry about having a lot on your plate when the whole time your goal was to eat. Literally. If you wanted that future so badly, then you would understand why you are dealing with this now. I remember reading another quote that also helped me during my hard times was, Everything will be okay. And if it is not okay, then it is not the end. This is not the end of your story. This is just a chapter. 
we're ready for the next it's like they say different levels different devils because no matter where we are in life and you just keep evolving keep growing keep getting better and better there's always going to be something to deal with bringing you down trying to bring you down trying to push you back down don't let the devil lie to you now this whole time i was recording without the butterfly like hello how tired am i your journey is not going to end here it's not going to end because you lost the job because you lost a friend because you lost your favorite wallet you have more than that you have a purpose that's just waiting for you to fulfill like as hard as it is i need you to reevaluate and think of all the possibilities of what the lesson could be you need to give yourself the time to reflect on what is the lesson what am i supposed to learn here what is this trying to teach me and that's another thing is that i've realized that sometimes we will go through loops and circles round and round with an issue over and over and it seems to be the same issue and it's like why am i still dealing with this why is this happening again why me you haven't done the work yet you're not finished there's still more to be changed there's still more to be learned before you can move on to the next step we don't just graduate school because we went through the classes. No, we have to actually understand. Then we can pass on to the next. Even with a friend, you can think of all the possibilities of where it went wrong. Then what you can do to move forward or what you want to do to move forward. Was it a lack of boundaries, a lack of respect? What are you going to do to make sure that your future friendships don't end up the same or don't have the same mistakes? You have to look at it from all perspectives, not just from your point of view, just because it hurt you and you're the one going through it. No, you have to look at it from every angle. I remember there was a time where I was going through it because I lost a friend. And for some reason, in my head, I had it set on the fact that it was because of me. It was something that I lacked or something that I wasn't doing or maybe I wasn't a good friend, but whatever the case was, I was just blaming myself years later now i'm realizing like it actually happened the way it was supposed to happen they were at a different place a different timeline than than where i was there was nothing that i could have done that would have made it turn out any differently because they were on their own path they were not even equipped to be a friend at that time no shade but if they couldn't even be there for themselves. How would I expect them to be there for me? Me going through that pain, me going through that misery, yeah, I was just inflicting a lot of self-doubt and insecurities upon myself. But after that, I soon realized like, okay, this had nothing to do with me. First of all, I stopped taking it personal. But then also I learned from that because then I learned, okay, you know what? Going forward, this is what I want. This is what I don't want. And so you have to look at each each painful moment in your life as a lesson because it's really just there to help you grow whether it's spiritually physically emotionally all of that mentally it's to push those boundaries so that you can reach your peak your next level the next you and as hard as it is to push through that is exactly where you're going to find your power that is where you're going to pick up your crown from the ground and be like yeah we're ready it's when you finally pick yourself back up. It's when you finally put the pieces to the puzzle. It's when you finally are ready to take all of that pain and to use it for the next chapter. That's where you're going to find your power. And literally, power is all just coming from that growth. When you decide that you are changing and you are working towards growth, towards progress in your life and yourself, that's where the power is created. You babes you just boiled up some magic and that and what's that thing called which is brew heal yeah. you just brewed something up in the witch is real let me not say that but <laughs> it's spooky season but literally you just brewed up the magic sis now we're on to the fun part that power is going to come once you start recognizing that your struggles are just steps those struggles are just stepping stones so you can continue on your path so you can get to the next like thank you next <laughs> we're literally thanking you for what you've taught me what you've brought me the pain because i will never forget next because i'm on to the next i'm ready for what's going to be my calling i'm ready for what's mine no matter what life has thrown at you yeah whatever comes your way you got it you've been equipped with everything that you need you've been equipped why do you think you keep waking up? Why do you think God keeps giving you another day, the presence? 
and one day you're going to be looking back and actually be able to tell this tale tell your story tell your testimony to people who are going through who need to hear it who need to hear how you made it through the mud how did you do that how did you get over it how long did it take you now you have the answer to provide to the next live to tell your tale the final step will be action it's going to be the action that you take going forward it's going to be what you do with this new information that you have now that you learned your lesson are you going to push forward or stay frozen what you decide that action that you take next will be literally your power full transparency moment this is why i've been going so hard hence the appearance in the gym lately because i'm honestly so sick of myself looking the same being disappointed when i wear certain clothes being sad when i take pictures the time i took a before photo and cried real tears baby those tears transformed me because i was like there's no way there's no way and that's the thing that pain that i see that pain that i felt the pain that i'm experiencing is going to be my motivation because i'm gonna keep going back i'm gonna keep being consistent now come and shake the table shake things up new routine me went to arc me because i'm ready for my transformation like i'm tired of what i've had and i want more so i gotta do more but like I said, it really is your choice. Do you want to chase your dreams and your goals and change and grow? Or you want to stay the same, chill, be comfy, have, you know, the same predictable life and be okay with the same struggles over and over? Will you do nothing or will you actually work for something? Will you prove to yourself that you're able to do it or are you just going to believe these people? As I said, you've already been equipped with these tools, these special talents that you have yet to discover. And all that magic, all of that, it's just sitting, it's just sitting down there deep. It's just waiting for you to like dig a little, dig a little, work a little, work a little, sweat, break tears, do whatever just to reach it, right? Dust yourself off because once you hit the pot of gold, baby, it's over from there. It's only up when you've been to the bottom. Where else can you go? Just let this video be a reminder that it's not too late, it's never too late, and that it's okay. It's okay, but you have something greater waiting for you on the other side of the door. May the flowers remind us why the rain was so necessary. And for my favorite part, affirmations for healing. But if this is your last few seconds here, then I do thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Affirmations for healing repeat twice i choose to turn my pain into motivation and power what once hurt me is now my fuel for success i keep going because i believe in myself i choose to have the strength to move on to healthier relationships habits and experiences that nurture my well-being. I am resilient and I will turn every setback into a comeback. I hold the power to heal and overcome. I will transform my life into a reflection of my strength resilience, and limitless potential. I allow myself to heal, and in that healing, I find new strength. I am worthy of love, healing, and peace. I am ready for change. I welcome change. I choose to turn my pain into motivation and power. What once hurt me is now my fuel for success. I keep going because I believe in myself. I choose to have the strength to move on to healthier relationships, habits, and experiences that nurture my well being. I am resilient and I will turn every setback into a comeback. I hold the power to heal and overcome. 
I will transform my life into a reflection of my strength, resilience, and limitless potential. I allow myself to heal, and in that healing, I find new strength. I am worthy of love, healing, and peace. I am ready for change. I welcome change. Thank you, butterflies. Love you.